I think the agendas were different for different parts of the system. The constraints uh, on the system were not coming from the political frame. Giscard d'Estaing and Helmut Schmidt, uh, I think, would have been possibly open, I don't know, I mean, obviously they hadn't been tested, to uh, more innovations, but uh, the job of making it real was given to the central banks. Uh, this was a meeting of central banks, this was a central bank process. So, uh, in retrospect, it's a little bit like uh, asking the Pope to inaugurate uh, uh, a Buddhist temple. Uh, it's not terribly uh, likely that uh, such a process would actually take place. So the constraint was, from that perspective, the impulse was definitely political, uh, but the constraints, uh, some of the political constraints were there too, actually, thinking about it. I would say that the no exit door, for example, uh, and uh, the idea of that the governance system later came from the political front. But the tactical part, the, the monetary part, was within the box of the central banks. And as the governor of the central bank actually called me in and basically saying to do not even mention uh, any idea other than that, like the one I was talking with, which is a commodity-backed currency. <laughs>